who work in the area say the body was found right next to the iconic Round Rock in Brushy Creek. Now police are working to find out who the man is and how he died. I work in the Hotel Square, which is the office building back here. Marty Bender says something seemed off when he made his way into work Thursday morning. Our office looks out across into that uh, green space, and there was a Jeep-type vehicle that was parked there. That It's not normally anybody parked there because it's kind of private property. Just a few hours later, he knew his instincts were right. The police were down here. They closed the road here that drives by um, the, the Round Rock, and... Uh, both sides, they have it taped off. Sergeant Tom Sloan of the Round Rock Police Department says some people were walking along a trail near Brushy Creek when they saw what they thought was a mannequin or body. Firefighters and police responded, were able to locate the subject, and made the determination that it was a deceased male. Sergeant Sloan says some people showed up to the scene upset and worried as they have a family member they say went missing a couple nights ago. The Jeep found near the park is related to the man and was towed away, according to Sergeant Sloan. And he also says they're not sure how long the body has been there, but this is normally a safe area where many people go on a daily basis. I would like to say it's a safe park. Uh, there's people walking every day. There are dads and their children fishing in the park. Um, it's not uncommon for any other park in the city. Um, it's where families go, where children go to play, where, where, where people go for uh, outdoor activities. Whether the circumstances were suspicious or not, Round Rock police have yet to say. You know, it's kind of sad, I mean, knowing that you worked back here and there was, you know, this mishap, whether it was foul play or his own taking, we just don't know at this point. Round Rock police say they will release the name of the man as soon as they can positively ID him and notify family members. Mike? Thanks, Ray. A whole bunch of stories.